Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if it's your first time here around here. So, if you haven't seen the thumbnail already or the title, um, I'm just on my way to the Crown Court. I got all confused for a second there. I'm on my way to the Crown Court uh, to report on a ex-police officer who is um, charged with a number of misconduct in a public office offences. Now, I'll read you a snippet from the newspaper. A former West Yorkshire police officer has appeared in court charged with misconduct in a public office. Former police constable Declan Middleton, who worked on Bradford's safeguarding domestic abuse team, is accused of abusing his position of trust by starting a relationship with a woman he met. He is also alleged to have attempted to pursue relationships with two other women during the course of his duties. At Leeds Magistrates Court, Mr Middleton was given unconditional bail. During the three-minute hearing, he was told he appeared before the court for offences that are so serious they can only be dealt with at the Crown Court and he was bailed to appear before the Crown Court on today's date which is the 29th of June. The offences he is alleged to have committed took place between May 2020 and October 2021, the IOPC have said. Mr Middleton of Thwaites Brow in Keithley faces three counts of misconduct in public office. So, we're going to go watch the hearing, um, see what's actually happened, get some more in-depth details, and then obviously, all being well, once the hearing's over, I'll hop, skip and jump down the stairs, get myself outside, uh, positioned in a suitable place, and I'll get some video and footage, or photos, of former police officer Declan Middleton. So I'm just going to arrive at the court now, and um, we'll obviously get straight into there, and see what's going on. Get eyes on the target, let's do it. Right, so I get this guys, absolutely unbelievable. So me, we was in, you good, you good. So we was in court taking notes and the usher from the court got up and came over to me and said, do you have permission to be writing notes? So I said, no. She goes, oh, well, you've got to stop then. I stopped because I didn't know maybe the judge had asked us. I, I don't know, so I, I stopped. However, this is an absolute outrage. I am 100% allowed to take notes. The usher then wrote a note on paper and took it over to the justice clerk who sits in front of the judge and she showed it to the justice clerk. The justice clerk read it and she goes, yeah, no, it's okay, they're fine. That's what he said, they're allowed. But the usher at that point, she didn't return to us and say, oh, by the way, I made a mistake. You are allowed to take notes. She just ignored it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into the court. I'm going to speak to the court manager. I'm going to make a formal complaint because my, my civil... My, my right to take notes in that gallery has just been abused. So I've just been, I was just in there and I was waiting for um, like an hour and a half, not an hour and a half, lying, about half an hour um, while making this complaint. Um, we were speaking to the court manager, she went off to speak to the usher's manager and then they were talking to the judge and the, she came back and asked me that the judge had asked who I am and why I'm taking notes. So I said, you know, I. I report on stories um, for monetary gain to myself, financial gain, and I publish them on social media. Um, they asked me which social media, so I said, you know, YouTube, Facebook, um, Twitter, and then she went off again for like another 20 minutes, came back, said, oh, we're just waiting for the judge. Like, well, I ain't got all day, so I've left. I'm gonna check back in with them via phone call a bit later, see what's going on, because it's just a nightmare, I haven't got time. It's just, it really is silly. But I've got case law, which look, I'll, I'll pop it on here. This is a ruling made at the High Court in 2016 that states anyone can take notes in court. You do not have to give a reason. That is the law. So the usher they said that the, she was new to the job. So obviously doesn't know what she's doing. And yeah, absolutely bonkers guys, bonkers. Right guys, so I've just been back into the Crown Court um, and went to go speak to the court manager again. Um, the matter, for whatever reason, has been referred to the recorder of Leeds, so essentially a different judge. Um, I don't understand why or for what purpose, because taking, you yourselves just Google it, Google, can a member of the public take notes in court, UK? You'll find it all there. And then there's also the, the High Court findings as well. Absolutely mental, I'm really, really, really confused. Um, that is what it is, absolutely mental, guys. Always happens to me, doesn't it? 
Anyways, let's uh, talk about the hearing itself. So I arrived at court approximately 9.30. Um, Mr. Middleton was not present at the court at that time. I'm gonna have to shout a bit here, guys, because the, the traffic. Um, it was also made evident that a special prosecutor had been brought in to prosecute the case and not the CPS. For what reason? I have no idea. Don't know. Work it out for yourself. Anywho, I went into the courtroom and sat in the public gallery and waited. Uh, Mr. Middleton then arrived with his father and legal team at approximately 10.40 or there or thereabouts. Uh, Mr. Middleton's dad was sat directly in front of me. There was also four other members in the public gallery. There was two reporters, um, one person who I believed was from the police federation and then there was one unknown male as well. I'm not too sure who he actually was. Flip my notes. Uh, so the case, uh, the hearing commenced at 10.45, as listed. Uh, Mr Middleton spoke only to confirm his name, his date of birth, and he entered a not guilty plea uh, to all three charges. So he is charged, obviously, with misconduct in a public office, and they amount to making relationships, entering into relationships, or inciting a vulnerable person into a relationship. There's also allegations of inappropriate touching without what, what I can only assume was consent. I'm not too sure on that. Um, and they all are denied. Um, former, former PC Middleton has actually expressed that one of the victims is just out and out lying. Another one of the victims um, were, they were coming onto him in fact and not the other way around and the third victim is similar to the second. Uh, trial has been set for the, one moment sorry, ah, all my notes. Trial has been set for the 7th of October 2024. Um, it's going to be a listed trial which means it's fixed in place and it can't be moved. Um, there is also some CCTV footage which the Crown would not be using um, as evidence as they say it's um, irrelevant. Um, there is also some cell site information that would put P former PC Middleton in the vicinity of one of the victim's properties. However, he denies that he was at the property, just in the area. And there's also social media and text messages to be submitted as evidence. To be submitted as evidence. I don't know why that went off there. So, here he is. Declan Donnelly Middleton in the grey suit leaving court with his father. He obviously needed his dad to come to court with him because he is little bitch. And he needed his daddy to hold his hand whilst he, um, well prepares to probably go to prison for being what I can only call is, what would you call it? Pervert preying on vulnerable women. Yeah, I think per pervert sounds um, pretty um, politically correct, wouldn't you say, guys? But yeah, he didn't have much to say. He didn't say nothing, obviously. He just kept on walking um, like the little loser that he is. And here we have leaving court is the police liaison slash police federation member. Um, I thought he was going to come back me at this moment, but he didn't. And here we have the unknown male that came and sat in the gallery. And this guy was playing on his phone in court, which is a big no-no. So guys, I've just had a phone call from the manager at the Crown Court. And um, the judge, judge has said, if I wish, I can go back at 2pm and the judge will address me in person. Bonkers, eh? So, gonna go grab a coffee. I'm gonna go back to the court and have a word with the judge. See what's going on. This is crazy. This guy's crazy. All for taking notes in court, which we have got a legal right to do. We have got a right to open justice, and we've also got the right to take notes. Hence, freedom of expression. Let's see what he's got to say. Hi guys. So, I've just come back out of the court. Um, I spoke to the judge for a matter of about three, four, maybe five minutes max. Um, the judge, first and foremostly, apologised on behalf of the court for the inconvenience and the mistake that was made by the court usher. He explained 
Uh, it has been explained as well previously, not only by the judge, that the lady was new in her position. You know, mistakes do happen, I get that. But when those mistakes involve your legal rights, it becomes a bit more serious, doesn't it? Um, the judge said that one of the things that caused some concern was that when I was asked to stop writing, I did so, and very shortly after, I made a very abrupt exit of the court, which I did. I dashed out and ran downstairs and got outside, but that was for the purposes of getting outside and getting a picture of the defendant, um, which obviously makes sense, okay? Um, he confirmed, he asked me to confirm the purposes for taking the notes, um, that I'm gonna publish them online, and the purpose of the notes are for accuracy. Yes, which I replied, and he said, that's absolutely fine. Um, you have permission to take notes within this court. Um, and that was it. I said, thank you for your time, judge. He said, you are welcome. And that was it. So that usher has probably had a bit of a uncomfortable morning slash afternoon. Uh, if you're new on the job and you're making mistakes like that, it's not very good, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, I am going to issue a formal complaint as well in writing and uh, we'll see what, see what comes of that, but absolute bonkers one guys, bonkers one. Well, what can I say, I think I've been promoted now, I'm getting addressed by judges and I'm not even the one in court. <laughs> guys, wicked, what a result. Until the next one, as always, stay safe, peace and respect.